All right, y'all. So in today's video, we're going to set up pie hole on Proxmox using the container. Now, the reason we're going to set up pie hole is one, it is an awesome ad blocker. So it can help speed up your network and get rid of some of the annoying ads that you see on almost every website. But it also can be set up as a recursive DNS server. So just like when you go out to the internet or you set up that 1.1.1 on your computer or 1.1.1 on your firewall, you can actually use your own local DNS so that it would query all those and you can get faster responses for your normal traditional websites. And we're going to use Pi-hole and Unbound. And another thing that we can do is also set up local DNS records. So I could come here to and set up a local DNS record like pve1.home.local and go up into my browser and type pve one dot home and put the port number on there and then now i am at my proxmox server where we're on our proxmox server let's go ahead and get started installing this the first thing like i said we're going to install this on a container and to do that we need to have a container template now if you are new to proxmox and you don't have any shared storage or anything like that most likely your container templates are going to be right here under local CT templates. If you're like me and you've got a shared template or a shared ISO folder on your network, then it would be there. But to get to that, you're going to go, once you get to your container template where you're going to use that, you will come up here and you would type in Ubuntu or UBNU and we are going to select the 20. 2.04 and then click download. Now this will take a few minutes for it to download, but it is definitely a lot quicker than downloading the whole entire ISO. This is a stripped down version of Ubuntu 22.04. Once that has completed downloading, you will come up here and go to create container. And we're going to give this a name of pie hole, a password. Now this is the password for root. So make sure it's super super scroll password. We're going to click next. We're going to select where we downloaded that template to and mine was in ISOs. I'm going to select that and click next. This is going to be the storage wherever you want. Mine's LVM2B. I'm going to give it 32 gigs of storage. CPU, I'm going to give it two cores and memory, I'm gonna give it one gig. Network, I'm gonna select as DHCP, which you can do static if you want to, but I'm gonna use DHCP as it makes it just a little bit easier. You can do a DN, or you can do a DHCP reserve on your firewall if you need to. Next, we're gonna do confirm and finish. This will take a few seconds, but definitely a lot quicker so i'll fast forward through this so once you get a task okay you can actually click exit and if you look right here you will see 101 pi hole and we will click start and we'll click on console if you want to bring the console out you can double click it and once you get that it's going to say pi hole login it's going to be root is the password, or root is the username, and that super secret squirrel password you created in the beginning. All right, first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make sure that it is updated. So we're going to do apt get update. And then we're going to do apt get upgrade. Do yes. This may take a few minutes for it to get done downloading. So you can either pause it right, you can pause it right here and wait till it is done downloading all of those updates. All right, y'all. So once you get the done, you can go ahead and click. You'll hit enter a few times and it will pop up. We are going to do a reboot now just so we can make sure all of that stuff is installed. All right, and that is what I love about 
containers is the, how fast the reboots are. So we're gonna log in as root, our super secret squirrel password. We're just gonna clear this out so it comes up to the top. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a user named Pihole. So we're gonna do add user space Pihole. We're gonna create a password for this. Now, this is the password that you're gonna use for SSH. So I'm gonna do this, my password. And we're gonna skip over full name, all of that. We're gonna say yes. And then we're gonna do one more command because we wanna make sure that, this is, that they are a part of the pseudo words list. So we're gonna do add user pie hole sudo. Once you get done, we're going to go ahead and do IP-ADR, which stands for IP address. We're going to make sure that we have an IP address. So mine is going to be 10101.146. So you can see it is right here. Now I'm going to go and actually log out of this one. So I'm going to do log off. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to use PuTTY, which is my favorite SSH tool. Go 10101.146. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to type in Pihole. Now, the reason that we had to create an account is by default, root does not have access to SSH. I'm going to use that super secret squirrel password. We're going to clear that out. We're going to do another command, which is installing curl. So we're going to do sudo apt install curl. Do yes. It may ask for your password right there. Just go ahead and put that same password you used to log in using that. Now this will take a few minutes for it to install. I'll fast forward through this. Once that's got it installed, it will drop down and say piehole at piehole. And we're going to add this command. Now I am following just the article on Pihole documentation. I will put a link to the description in the description below. Click enter. And you will see that it will pop up with Pihole. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. All right, so once it is done with all of that, you're gonna to come to this page and it is saying we are going to transfer this device into a network wide ad blocker. I'm gonna click okay. We're gonna Click OK by just doing enter. We're gonna do continue. We're gonna use Google's DNS. Now, if you wanna just leave it as DNS and don't wanna do your own recursive DNS, that is actually okay. We're gonna hit continue. Where you want to install Steven's block list. Now this is a predefined block list of already known spam or ads out there. So we're gonna hit enter. Do you want to install the web admin web interface? Yes, I do. And yes. Would you like to query late um, logging? Now, querying logging, so your DNS, so there's really no logs of what you do, then you would click no. I don't care. I want to actually see the log so I can see my network. But I'm going to do show everything and continue. Okay, so once it gets done installing, you will come to this page and it'll say, go to 10.100.1.146 or .1 slash admin, and it does have a password here. Now you can just copy this password or write, or write down that password and try to remember it, or you can click okay. And then we're going to change that password because I'm not gonna remember it. We're gonna do piehole a dash p. And we're gonna use password, and this is always gonna be in plain text. So I'm just gonna use a super secret squirrel password because I am gonna blow this one up and we're gonna do password one. Now that that has been set up, we're gonna do, we're going to go to that 10100, 10101.146 forward slash admin. And we're gonna log in with that password that we created, like my seven months password one. If you look up here, 
we have our pie hole server set up, but there's nothing going to it. So I'm going to set my Windows computer up. I'm going to go to my network sharing center by going, and then I'm going to go to change adapter settings, Ethernet 4, go to properties, click on IPv4, and I'm going to use the following DNS. Remove 10, 100. 146 and click OK. The next thing that we need to do is open up command prompt by typing command or CMD in your browser or in your search bar. And then I'm going to type in ipconfig forward slash release and an ipconfig forward slash renew. Now the reason that I did both of those at the same time was it was something I learned while I was on the help desk. Doing it that way, if you need to flush DNS because you have, or flush the IP address or renew the IP address for any reason because of network things, going in and doing both of those, if you're remote, will disconnect you and then reconnect you. Where if you just did IP config release, it might not get that IP address and your client could be offline. So I just wanted to make sure that, that we got that new DNS. I do IP config forward slash all. I'm gonna look for the 10100. And so right there is our DNS server. So we get 10100.1.146. And you can already see because I do have some tabs already open on my thing that there's 66 queries already going on. Let's go to NFL.com. Got 150 queries, 27 blocked. So already you can see that it is working. And here are all of the block sites that it's already blocked just in that few minutes. So it is a really great thing to have just to kind of help speed up the network. Now, by default, this is just an ad blocker, but we're gonna set it up as a DNS or a recursive DNS. So instead of it going to 8.8.4.4, then we're going to make it so that our network does everything from within inside of it. So to do that, we're going to go back into our SSH. So now we're going to install um, Unbound. And to do that, we're going to do sudo apt install Unbound. We're going to use that, our, super, our password. We can click yes. We do want to install. And this will take a few more minutes, so I'll fast forward through this. All right, so now that that's, un that's done and installed, we need to set our config file. So to do that, we're going to do nano, or sudo nano, sudo nano, and we're going to go to this. Now, the reason I said that you do want to go to this web page is because there is a lot that we need to copy and you're not really going to want to type all this. We're going to click enter. Now, this is going to create a new document for us. And what we're going to actually put in here is all of this. So, you will need to copy this and paste. Now, what this is doing is this is setting unbound up so that it can, our DNS is going to listen on port 53, and then if it doesn't know that, it's going to send it out to unbound on port 5335. Click exit, yes, and enter. Now, we need to make sure that everything is up and running, and we're going to run this command. So, sudo server unbound restart, and then we're going to open it up on port 5335. Now that that is done, let it, let's actually go and log back into our pie hole. Now that we have done that, we need to get rid of the Google DNS. So to do that, we're gonna go to DN settings, DNS. We're gonna unclick both of these. We're gonna put a custom and we're gonna do 127.0.0.1. Hashtag or pound. 5335. Come down here, click save, 
and we are set up to go. This is now going to be a recursive DNS. So that will mean as we are doing, as we are starting the search, the first times it might not know if we go to facebook.com, it might not have that in there. So it might take just a few more minutes for it to come through. But once it gets that IP address, it is going to cache it into its own network. Now, the other cool thing that you can do, like I said, with a local DNS or setting this up as your DNS server, is right here we can do heimdall.home.local and then do three, click add. <clears throat> and now I can copy this and then do my port because you have to do the port. And now I'm on my dashboard, which I will set up. I will do a video on how I created my dashboard is I absolutely do love the Heimdall. I know there is a ton of other dashboards out there, but this one works great for me and my family in some of how our daily tasks work out. So if you like video content like this or anything like that, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. If you're ready, if you want to see some more videos from me, click right over here and y'all have a good night.